Despite the fact that we've been watching VIRI experience a downside over the last few days, I think that we may be coming up to some very interesting downside targets, some of which that actually have been used for a parabolic upside. Let's go ahead and go over those potentials within this session so that you can grab an edge over the sessions in the coming days. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by. Once again, this is Arca coming at you with a VIRI technicals, raw price action, and statistical threat of analysis on this happy Monday. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community in Discord called Arca Bulls. With that said, let's dive right into the charts. Okay, team, so we are looking at VIRI on the daily chart here, and what we can see forming is a potential rising wedge okay team so this is obviously a bearish formation but it is very much in its infancy right so this is barely starting it does require a lot more of trading in order for us to get to its apex right so usually these types of triangles tend to realize when we're at about I mean, I, I really would say around 75% to the apex, right? In this case, you can actually see that the apex is all the way over here in November, right? So, <laughs> yeah, so in the 75% mark would be loca located right here in uh, in late September. Okay, team, so yeah, there's there's a lot, uh, a lot can happen within that time and also a potential invalidation of this entire formation could happen too, right? But that's not our job to guess right now. Our job is to look at what the present price action is doing, what the charts are looking like right now and being reactive to that information, okay, team? So I know that there are some things that we're still waiting for, fundamentally speaking, I get it, right? But if we're speaking about, uh, about the charting here, if we're speaking about the technicals and the, st and the statistics, then we are approaching something very curious, okay, team? First of all, first of all, first of all, during today's live stream, I was able to call out really fast that we could be facing a bounce from the bottom side of about 166. And uh, actually in, let's see, what was it in the 12 hour, I think it was? Nonetheless, we actually getting we actually ended up getting a low of about 163, right? So it was really close to that target that we uh, that we took a look at, right? And honestly, that target also had a lot to do with this right over here. Please notice the not 618 at 167. So we knocked down all the way to 163 and bounced to the upside, right? So we're approaching that golden that golden pocket of the uh, of the geometric sequence, right? The Fibonacci retracement. So now that golden pocket is located between the not 618 Fibonacci ratio and the not 382 uh, Fibonacci ratio, right? So this area here is a pretty bullish area to be in. And generally, spe gener generally speaking, <laughs> there could be a pretty nice parabolic bounce to the upside from this area, okay, team? So, we have a few targets to look at. If we were to consider bouncing from the golden pocket, then we have the not 0.5 at 155 and the not 382 at 144. Let me bring you back to the first chart and show you something very curious, okay? If you can see right down here, this area is showing a very tiny, tiny daily gap. It is literally the space of 156 to 157, I believe. Let's go ahead and just kind of zoom in like crazy here and see what that is. Yeah, 156 to 157 is this gap on the daily, okay? that Those are the nuances that we have to pay attention to when we are trading, okay, team? So now that we know that 156 to 157, let's go back to this other chart and take a look at this. The not 0.5 at 155, team, okay? So that is absolutely the center of the golden pocket and there could be a nice parabolic bounce from the from, uh, to the upside from that target why am i saying parabolic why because of this okay let's go ahead and come back to this chart yet again and take a look at the time where we actually came back down to that area of 156 to 157 look at the bounce that we faced after that okay team so that is curious that this would happen because we are already at the bottom side of this wedge so if we do get this next daily closure with a wick down to here there is a probability where we can actually face a rejection from that bottom side and the continuation to the upside please remember that this is just a probability and it's not certainty okay team so i'm speaking to you directly in speculation and seeing as seeing as the, you know just using relevant areas of historical supports for these types of answers right this being one of them right this is being another this being another one another thing that we can use for speculation is a time fractal right team so please notice here that from this bottom side right from this from this uh reversal signal 
we actually can measure all the way over to this next bottom side where we just closed today we can see that it's an it, it's an iteration of about 39 days okay so if we were to suggest for continuing to the upside here from this moment or from the next candle then there could be an answer within there right so let's just see from here 39 days would measure to September 15th okay I'm talking about to the top side of the price action right but I do have something in this in the statistical side to share with you because the the signal for the five day volatility versus momentum backtest is still fired and it's still within its range okay so now yes I get it 50 days was the it was the essential uh, turnaround here but I would have to remind you that uh, that 54 days is just uh, it's based on an average right team it's not it's not to tell us that that is absolutely the the uh, uh, it's not to tell us that that is the last answer here is to tell us that there's I mean we have seven iterations five iterations oh my goodness right so <laughs> one of them was 22 days another one was 54 another one was 50 days and another one was literally one day okay so we don't have a lot of data to go off of so that we can uh, okay and this one actually took 119 days okay team so where we are presently is 58 days okay so we are presently at 58 days from the signal being fired still within the bounds right if, i mean considering this one iteration here right it's quite large right so but the thing is is that we're within the 50 day range and we're already facing these targets that are super curious to me i'm wondering if we could actually face a pretty nice bounce to the upside considering the time fractal itself right team so now okay since the signal is already fired we already actually completed with this topside move over here that was the completion of the standard deviation 60 spot 24 percent to the upside which measures the 68 percent of the results in a bell curve if you are familiar with statistics right so the center area of about 68 percent of the results within that area of the bell curve right that would be 60 spot 24. now the upper bound of the first standard deviation which would be the top performers and also a very minimal percentage lands at about 125 percent move to the upside that complete move of 125 percent leads to a target of about three dollars and 35 cents of which has a very curious one spot 618 golden mean at three dollars and 15 cents and also the top side of the daily candle that we actually used to capitulate right over here from when the price action fell that top side there take a look at right here okay the high is the OH, the OHLC right open high low close look at this handle when we hover over it 315 on the H right team so that is a very curious 315 one spot 618 golden metric and also meeting the 125 percent completion of the upper bound of the first standard deviation within the statistical upside okay team so that is essentially what I'm looking for here and there is a probability to face that now if we are looking at that 59 that uh, the 39 day target based on this iteration here 39 days that's taking us to the top side of about three dollars and 27 cents but what if we retrace just a little bit here to see where that 315 could land right so this would be the resistance at three actually right over let's see i think it could be right here okay so it's looking like it could be september 8th friday right so i'm just saying that this could be the top side that we can look at and this is where price action is going to start eventually doing that thing right we can start zigzagging our way to the upside i do see that in the immediate short term time frame we could face some downside here and i would actually encourage to try to find some type of bounce from the 156 to 157 which just so happens to meet the not 618 i'm sorry the the not 0.5 at 155 please remember team a lot of confluence within those targets there and what's telling us that we could still face a downside is in fact the rsi please notice that every single rsi signal represented by the cyan or blue line right cyan or blue is what i said sorry <laughs> i know that i'm connecting words here are all below the sma 14 and suggesting a continuation to the downside in literally every single time frame right so this is what's telling me that we may be able to find that bottom side of that uh of that uh 155 zone at the not 0.5 fibonacci ratio and the daily gap from this uh from this uh iteration here between let's see july 10th and july 11th right so that's a that's kind of what i'm looking at here team uh potential let's see one two three and that would be the fourth the, that would be the fourth ladder down in all in all reality it would actually be the fifth right because we have this downside here one two three 
four, and five. Anything after three, the probabilities start to increase and increase for a reversal. Okay, so all of that is super curious to me. That is what I wanted to share with you uh, overall. Okay, okay, team. So just please remember not to take anything that I say or iterate within these videos as any form of financial advice, as, as I cannot suggest for you to buy, sell, or hold any assets whatsoever. Okay, team, I need you to do your own due diligence and everything will be cool, cool. But with that said, team, I wish you well, a very, very good night, and I will catch you at the bell. Manana. Adios.